some people who experience stomatitis when they overstrain themselves. Uncomfortable and painful stomatitis can be felt when eating, drinking, swallowing, and talking. It is a sickness that children, as well as adults, often experience. If you suffer from frequent stomatitis, you need to check if you are taking good care of your oral hygiene. Because stomatitis is not only more likely to occur when your immunity is low but is also related to oral hygiene. If you have stomatitis, you are likely to get small white sores in the mouth that becomes bigger and bigger and cause tingling pain. Stomatitis is caused by infection with various bacteria, but the main cause is poor immunity due to stress and fatigue. The scarring of the oral mucosa can also develop into stomatitis because the bacteria and viruses can penetrate the mucosa. When the oral cavity is unsanitary due to smoking, or when the oral immunity is weak, you might also get stomatitis. How can we prevent stomatitis? To prevent stomatitis, first it is important to manage the body's immunity. It is easy to lose immunity during the change of seasons because the immunity is deeply related to body temperature. When your body temperature drops by 1 degree, your immunity drops by 30%. If the weather is cold, you should keep warm so that the body temperature does not drop. Also, getting enough rest and getting adequate sunlight during the day can help boost your immunity. The second way to prevent stomatitis is oral hygiene. Dry mouth is a favorite environment for bacteria. To prevent the mouth from drying out, drink warm water frequently. Smoking can be the main cause of dry mouth, so you should consider quitting smoking. It is crucial to make a habit of brushing before going to bed to prevent food from remaining in the mouth overnight. Also, if you have an implant or a prosthesis in your mouth, you should clean every space between the prosthesis. Today, we learned about the causes of frequent stomatitis and how to prevent them. In the next video, we'll show you how to predict the progress of tooth decay with the degree of pain we feel.